And we're back, everybody. Riverman, myself, Aaron. Uh, topic for our nostalgic chat right now is going to be the moments where we felt we suffered a big old fat case of buyer's remorse. You ever buy a movie based on hearsay, based on a review, or maybe just based on the album cover, and you bring it home, and the second you pop that in, you're like, God, this is why they invented, you know, no refunds on opened electronic merchandise, right? Isn't that funny? Pretty much. It's it, because everybody, there's so much stuff we would have taken back. So we're not going to waste too much time on this. I want to remind everybody too, if, if you're if you're new here, please take a second to like the channel or follow the channel, uh, like the video, comment, follow us on twitch.tv slash revival house. We stream every week. Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, without further ado, can I start or you want to start? You can start. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You want to? You want? Okay. I'm going to start. So, if you guys witnessed our previous session where we talked about most watchable films, it's funny that this is also making an appearance here, but Dumb and Dumber 2. Oh, terrible. Damn this, damn this movie to hell. It's sacrilege. It's 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 proof that you can only strike lightning once in most cases, and you should just leave anything sacred alone. This movie's terrible. It's horrible. It's not funny. It's try hard. And you know what? It it just goes to show too. The first movie could have been like this because if you watch that last Blu-ray they put out of the original Dumb and Dumber, where it's the unrated, unedited director's cut, terrible. Mm -hmm. Because they just threw in all the stuff that the directors wanted to keep in. And it's all shit like this. So which tells me part of the magic of the original two was the censoring and the editing down. Right. Because uh, I don't know, man, just, I don't know if they just needed somebody to like, tell them to back up. Like, Hey man, that's not good. I don't know if these guys are surrounded with some yes men or what, but just not, it's not funny. It, it's, it's got awful. Terrible. Like it's, it's bad. Like I, it doesn't take that much for a comedy to have some warrants to have some value for me. Like I, I like lots of comedies that are just six out of tens, six out of tens. Mm -hmm. You know, I can watch them dude. this. I don't know what I give this movie. I'm afraid to watch it again, but it's, it's under a five. It's probably under a four. It's not good. Yeah. It's, it's shit. And it, and if I gave it like a one, it's just, be, it's because it follows up one of the great, the greatest comedy of all time. It's sacrilege, man. So my first one is going to be so some of mine are a little more obscure, um, uh, some boutique label stuff I picked up and uh, some shit I watched for the first time. So this one, uh, I remember I watched it when I was younger. I rewatched it. I didn't remember anything when I was young, but this one um, really hooked me originally because of uh, the main star that was in the movie. And uh, it, it's an 80s slasher um, that I just, I can't stand. I turn this off all the time. I mean, I watched it maybe once or twice, but uh, um, that would be Jamie Lee Curtis and Terror Train. Yeah, it's not good. This movie's terrible. Not good. Uh, it's Canadian flick, and it's just, there's no redeeming qualities about this movie. It's just crap. So, uh, so I was very disappointed in this one. I have a question. Yep. Had you really not seen it before you wasted money on the Blu-ray? Don't lie to me. No, I I, I watched it when I was a kid, but I oh, okay. I, I don't remember that. But so uh, they have a a remake that they had on. Um, gosh, what is it? Uh, what's the free streaming service? It was like um, the, the free one. It's not Tubi. Yeah, it is Tubi. Oh, it's Tubi. It's okay. a Tubi original. They remade oh, it. And it's oh, a really? Tubi okay. And now they have a sequel to the Tubi original coming out. And I heard. <laughs> I heard it's it's terrible. So, but people are watching. I feel like Tubi seems to be this like mecca for horror people because they have a lot of yep. horror movies, and mm -hmm. just, people seem to just love Tubi. I know Mac does. Mac jerks off Tubi. It's like always talking about Tubi. But I've watched some stuff on Tubi. So my next one, ah, I have to throw Todd under the bus here. There was a time where Todd's opinion meant a lot to me. <laughs> there was a time. Where anything he said, it held serious weight. Ditto. So usually, so usually, if Todd was like, uh, "Hey, you got to see this," this is the guy that got me into Dawn of the Dead. After all, 
you got to see this man it's the best movie best horror movie i've seen in a long time that's why blind bought it instantly vomited we are still here fuck this movie <laughs> it's fucking terrible todd was telling me he's like oh dude it's so good so god i it's never said it was so good I, oh you did i enjoyed it to the point where i bought i went out and bought it blind and he's like it's the best <laughs> horror movie i've seen in a long time and i get really? it really yes and we were in a drought. I will give you that. This was this came out smack in the middle of Remake City, where we were just getting nothing but like the remakes, man. We were getting House of Wax. It was just it was all remake. But so maybe my theory was, Todd, I think the bar has been set so low to where your vision is blurry. Probably. Probably. Because like, that's true. exactly what it was. I'm like, Todd, this is not good. Like basically, it's getting all these like handicap points because it's an original movie, not a remake. But it's fucking terrible. And this has the most cringe exposition dump I've ever seen in any movie. The cringiest scene between, I think, like, the town sheriff and this one woman at a bar where they just exposition and explain the whole movie in a fucking really long dialogue scene that's just so forced. I'm like, this is shit, man. It's fucking I bad. I was like, dude, I, did, you, did I get trolled? I literally thought you trolled me because I just could not believe you liked this movie. <laughs> It's not even bad. Good. It's just bad. I, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was good uh, at oh, the yeah? time. What I don't remember, remember about it. I don't do remember. I don't. It? I don't remember. Anything. Yeah, it sounds like one of the best movies you've ever seen, Todd. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I I didn't pray. <laughs> I didn't praise it that high, did I? You did. You did. That's the only reason why I went out and bought it. <laughs> maybe it was I was a, really hammered that night or something. You were high too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sniffing glue. It's bad. Am I am I on crack? Does anybody like this movie? Anybody like this movie? <laughs> And, and you know what's funny is, uh, oh, the bots are the bot game is strong today, guys. But anyway, Todd, I don't remember what it was because it's so forgettable. You also gave me a recommendation a couple years ago. It was like what a was Shutter it? movie, and I'm like, oh no, 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 fool me once. I'm not. Buying I did. It. I did enjoy that movie. Yeah. And I watched it. And I'm like, I, I. It took me two sittings to get through it. Really? No, I yeah. did enjoy that one. Wasn't as bad as this, but it was boring. But no. anyway. I'll never forget this damn movie. This movie should be thanking Todd because I why think you, about this movie. I think about this movie way more than I would have otherwise. Why don't you send it to me then? I'll I'll take it off your hands. I don't know it. Fucking you will. I mean, I've done wipe my ass with everything about it. It's terrible. I don't have the heart to throw it away. Memories. All right, your next. One. Uh, my next one's a shout factory. Uh, mm -hmm. So this one I love. Love the original. And I was very, um, I never watched it when it first, you know, came out because it was way, I was not even born yet at the time. So this one has one of my favorite actors in it, um, Peter Fonda. So when I watched this, I was very hyped to watch it. This movie is utter shit. It's one of the worst um, sequels or, re or, yeah, be sequel is oh, the no. uh, Future okay. World. Oh, okay. So, so the Westworld uh, sequel. It's terrible, man. It is god-awful. It's painful, and everything about it, even Peter Fonda sucks in this movie. So I wasn't happy at all. I was pretty upset after I picked it up. So To be fair, Peter Fonda, he's not a great a actor. Of, he's, he's not. He's done a lot of schlock, and the schlocky movies he's in, he's not good. No, right? he's, not, it, it, he's not a great actor. But he, he's but, really not. And Oh. The, the pedigree that he comes from, I mean, I it was nepotism. Like him, he's just a case of nepotism and Henry Fonda and all that stuff like that. Because uh I you know, Henry Fonda's a better actor. But but yeah, I get you it. Know, like Peter's, Peter Fonda, but I Peter's mean, in the genre stuff. He's yeah. in the genre stuff you like or whatever, but yeah. he's not good. Dude, watch him in that uh Ghost Rider movie. <laughs> it's bad. No he's, thanks. He's terrible. His act I mean, you don't you could just if you've seen him in Escape from L.A., you know his acting chops. Yeah, yeah. What's up, yeah. Snake? He's like, just like, yeah. so ridiculous. But, yeah, um, okay. Pretty bad. That's a good one. So, I, I originally had plans of of pacing these out in a way to where it didn't, to where it didn't feel like I was just beating up on Todd. But I'm going to do another one. I'm going to hit you hard again. This movie, <laughs> I blind bought this because of Todd's recommendation. <laughs> And I, we're not, we're not, uh, we don't have the not, same taste in horror films. I mean, we do when it comes to a point and then I kind of go off the deep end a little bit and you kind of stay in the shallow end. That's fine. Oh, I'm in the shallow end. 
Well, I like how a lot I, of stupid. I like a lot of stupid horror movies. That you how am I in the so. shallow end? You just made me sound like a fucking handicap guy. But uh, no, anyway, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, like some of these weird movies that you don't. The movie I'm about to show you does not qualify as deep end highbrow horror, Todd. This is as shallow end as it gets. Fucking Lords of Salem. This I I shallow. enjoy it. I enjoy this is it. Shallow pool. This is kiddie pool. I enjoy it. But I guess I'm not fucking five head enough to venture off into this side of the kiddie pool. Because I bought this. Now, granted, this isn't really Todd's fault. I liked Devil's Rejects. This was like yeah, the main yeah. follow-up to Devil's Rejects. And I was like, but the, but Todd loved it. I think you and Nate at the time had gotten back, gone to the theater. Uh, or maybe it was maybe it was you and someone else. And you guys were talking it up. I get it. You, you just come back from the theater. And you, you probably had a little bit different buzz, you know, that only you get at a theater. But I hated it. I I still don't like this movie. I've tried to watch it a few times. The first time I watched it, dude, I had to. It took me like four sessions to get through it because I kept falling asleep. I just yeah. um, it's just not for me, man. I'm not trying no, to. No, I, I I totally understand that, but I I do enjoy it. Um, it, it's you know not one of his best, but uh, once again, Todd just said I'm. Todd just called me shallow pool. This is your deep end five head stuff right here. Watch this movie <laughs> and see if Todd's hanging out in the deep end with all your fucking cool dads. No, he's not. Bad. <laughs> why, why, why do you take offense to that? Come on, you know I'm just kidding. I'm just having fun. I know, but it's I know. just... Uh... <laughs> okay, I'm going to go easy on you after this. All right. So this is one we might be able to agree on. <laughs> okay. How about that? All right. I was very excited about... Um... Seeing what, what it is, don't say it. Okay. S seeing what uh, could have been done with this movie, uh -huh. a lot of people shit on the one prior to it, but uh, I kind of enjoyed it. It's not as bad as everybody says it was. Okay, I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, it is. Oh God, what can I say about this? This movie is probably one of the worst horror films I've ever seen, and it's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, directors. And that is, oh no, survival of the dead. Oh yeah, and this, I, this movie is terrible. I I would have put that on my list, but I never bought it. I have I the DVD, wasted. so I'm not upgrading it. I never <laughs> wasted my money. I never wasted my money on it. I caught it on a streamer, so I couldn't I couldn't qualify it. But if I really wanted to be technical, I'm like, well, I paid for the streaming service. I watched it on most likely. I don't even know if I did that, but. Okay, okay, okay. So the next uh, that, one. That other movie I don't own anymore, the one you were thinking. Oh, you don't own that? It still qualifies, though, just because you don't own it. That's actually the ultimate insult that you got rid of it. Well, may well maybe I can leave that as my number one. I don't own oh, it anymore, though. Okay, yeah, because that's you just has to. Oh, my mom's chiming in. The horror movie Jack Frost was horrible. D Jack Frost not is that bad. It <laughs> It's got it's it's got its redeeming qualities. The thing is, the thing about Jack Frost, if I could sidetrack for a second, it's self aware. It's Jack Frost knows what it is. It's it, and you could tell you could tell really obviously a movie that's bad, and it's not trying to be bad. And you could tell these movies that are trying to be bad. They're trying to emulate those so bad as good movies. Jack Frost is one of those movies where it knows what it's doing. It knows its dialogue is cheesy. All the actors are trying to act ham. Uh, so it's kind of it's kind of okay. But it reminds me of like that fucking Uncle Sam movie. That same type of thing. And I enjoy Uncle Sam. I, I do I like not him. like Uncle Sam. But uh, if, glad I didn't blind by that. That'd be on this list. <laughs> dude, Uncle Sam's annoying because every death is like off screen, dude. It kills me. It's really I, annoying. I don't know. I always enjoyed that movie. I don't know why. Um, anyway, okay. So my next one, Going Easy on Todd, has nothing to do with Todd. This is actually more themed with uh, The Dumb and Dumber. So I love The Farrelly's, and I love Dumb and Dumber. So it's like, oh, yeah, Dumb and Dumber is the greatest movie of all time. Of course I want to watch the at-the-time new uh, Farrelly Brothers movie. So I blind bought it because I just wanted a comedy. That movie, Hall Pass. This movie sucks. Oh, a terrible. Terrible movie. Oh, I'm with it's you on very, that. It's very bad. Like I, I bought that too. Yeah. Hall pass. I'd settle for my money back. You mm -hmm. know, I just, it's absolutely bad. The, the only, and this is um an extended cut. So it's like an unrated. The only thing I remember about this movie was Owen Wilson waking up in a pool, like a, like a community center pool and him having like dicks next to his face. Like, and they showed like wet man dicks. I'm like, what is this? Who's the other actor? Jason other actor Sudeikis. Oh, that Sudeikis. Guy. Okay, okay. But, um, 
obviously I can tell you what the movie's about because it says it in the title, but I don't remember anything about this movie. Obviously, their wives give them a hall pass, and they're probably trying to score with some but some other chicks. I don't remember, but wow! How, I, how do I own that too? That movie is garbage, dude. I I wanted a comedy, yeah, and I yeah. and, I, and yeah. you see Fairly Brothers, you think something about Mary, you think Dumb yeah. and Dumber, like all right, that's probably <laughs> like, why I bought it too. Yeah, and, and it's like, dude, that 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 tells me all the more that wow, the Fairleys really just struck lightning it peaked, because yeah. the director's cut of Dumb and Dumber, their greatest their great achievement is not good. So it's yeah. like I really think they just hit it out of the park once, and just that's that's it. Um, who else is in this? A Jenna Fisher, chick from The Office. Who is that blonde in this? I don't know, but th- there's been a weird temptation to go back and try watching this again, but maybe yeah. I shouldn't. <laughs> no, it's it's not funny at all. I've tried to watch it numerous. It's times. not. It's not good, and it's, you know, and it's probably hurting it that it's this extended cut because the Fairley brothers just like these extended cuts. They just have everything in the kitchen sink, like everything they try, they put it and. Maybe it's a case of the director's theatrical cut being better, but it's not good. Very disappointed. See, I got what two left. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm gonna kind of cheat here because this is should have. Yeah, you're right. You got two more. Um, I'm gonna kind of cheat here because I have uh, a director in here that has multiple movies that I Mm -hmm. think are shit. So I'm just kind of gonna cheat in this. Um, It'll blow me away if you have the same one that's on mine, my last one, but it probably won't be. No way. No way. I mean, I got some pretty big stinkers in here. Uh, And they would be one of my favorite directors, actually. Um, Sticking with the zombie genre, it is not George Romero. It is Fulci. And it is zombie movie. Zombie 3. Zombie 4. He didn't do zombie 4, but he did Lizard in a Woman's Skin, which is a giallo, and it's shitty. He made some shitty movies. Oh, you got it too? The zombie pack? <laughs> oh, oh my god, how? How do we have the same ones, dude? Are those DVDs? Yeah. Well, at least he didn't go out and buy Blu-rays of them. <laughs> Let me see them again. Let me see your covers, dude. <laughs> Let me see them all. Uh, I don't have five. Yeah, this is three, this four, is, and then lizard and woman's skin. This is giallo, but it's not good, dude. Yeah, this is three, four, and five. Let me see. Let's see if the covers are different. No, three is the same. Well, more or less on the DVD. Yeah. Mine's a little bit more blown up. Okay, you can yeah. put yours back down. There's three. Yeah, there's there's after death, dude. <laughs> and uh, oh, terrible <laughs> zombie five cover, dude. Oh, killing birds. I never bought that. So. This isn't actually my. This is just an honorable mention, but I okay. had to. Sh- I had to throw it up because you had that. Like, Perfect. I, I didn't know you owned that. That's cool. Ah, yeah, dude. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Have you watched it uh, again? Or years and years and years. No, I haven't watched them since I got them. And I these are DVDs, so it tells you when I got them. I probably got these yeah, like yeah. 2006, 2005. I don't know, but yeah, just an honorable mention. Plus, I wanted to show you them anyway because I, I was going through all my old movies, and I'm like, oh, I've, I don't think I've ever shown Todd this, so <laughs> I pulled it out anyway. But that's cool, man. I didn't. Um, I, another movie I pulled out really quick. Total side note, because one of these days I want to do guilty pleasure movies, like just movies that are Absolutely. not good, yeah. but for some reason we have like a, a weird attachment. And I'll give you guys a spoiler because this this would be on my list because I found it. I'm like I'm gonna pull this out just so I remember it. <laughs> Amityville Four: The Evil Escapes with Patty Duke. <laughs> I don't remember that, dude. I it it's dumb. It's basically now it's like a haunted lamp. The lamp in the house. Is oh, okay, haunted. okay. It's like it, it's it's stupid. I'm actually surprised it's got a number in the series. So I guess that's technically. I think it is one of the official releases in the the franchise. Um, I, think, I think I think Vinegar Center put that out in uh, Blu-ray. So you it, have to it might up. not be because the thing is, is they don't own the word Amityville. I think literally they just put four on there to try and capitalize it. Like, hey, we're the fourth movie because it doesn't say Amityville Horror. Because yeah, I think yeah. that's I think Amityville Horror is technically the actual yeah. franchise, yeah. but this would make that list. And, and I would like to do. I got a whole fucking stack of movies that I'd love to talk about. Like, the, and, I, and I'll tell you exactly why I have a soft spot for those movies. But anyway, my last movie is by an acclaimed horror director. I I think he's got way more shit than he has good, and uh, 
this 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 made the list. I would actually say there's another movie that's even worse, but I didn't buy it, so I couldn't qualify it. But I bought this one, and um, it kind of blows me away. I look at this movie on like something like Letterboxd, and it's one of those movies that has it's all over the map. <laughs> like it's got equal equal amounts of people that give it like zero and equal amount ten. I don't understand it, but. I'm going to say fuck this movie in the goat ass. Mortuary, Toby Hooper. I don't like it. It's not good. Yeah, it's Toolbox good. Toolbox Murders is worse. That's the one I was going to say. The, the but, newer one or the original? The, to- the one from the, to- the 70s or the newer one from the 90s? Toby did the newer one. Yeah, right? yeah. That's not good. It's That's not what I'm talking about. The Toby yeah, one. Yeah. The Toby, the Toby yeah. one is shit. But I never bought it, so I couldn't say it. But Mortuary I did buy, so this gets it. Um, it's not good. And I think it's just kind of offensive because you watch a movie like this and it just makes you realize like, God, man, how hacky some people can be. Cause it hurts you. Cause it's like, Oh, this guy's a genius because of what he did with like Texas chainsaw and, you know, or even two or whatever. And then you can see how low some of these guys can go. And it just goes to show that a good movie is more than a director. It really is. And and Toby Hooper kind of reminds me of a Romero in this sense, right? Because Romero's got these kind of movies and stuff too. But I don't know. This one just stuck out to me. But anyway, do you have one more? I do. Um, I'm going to share my screen to show this one because oh, really? This we movie, this, shit? this movie went in the trash. This is my last one, dude. Come on, give me a break. Um, okay. So this is one we do have a history with. My mom said she thought I was going to say the room. I love the room. The room's great. It's funny. <laughs> Hello, doggy. Hi, doggy. Uh, um, so this is one we have a history with, and I was so excited to watch it when I first found it on DVD. Man. I think we, we ended up finding it at Best Buy. At Best Buy. Todd bought this movie at Best Buy. Hold on. And no, 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 he, bu- he bought it off name alone. Is it ready to pull up? Okay. Uh, hold ready? On. Yeah. And, and the main actor in it that lasts about five minutes okay, shows so The Living Dead. This was prime zombie time for todd in high school he was just zombie crazy and he this is exactly what these companies wanted to do by using the living dead name because it's just like amityville they don't own living dead there's no you know it there's no copyright on night of the living dead so everybody and their mom puts out remakes of night of the living dead they use of the living dead all it's just like amityville right Somebody yep. in the chat said earlier they bought Amityville Karen. The Amityville Karen. <laughs> and they regretted it. So this is the same thing. But they want to go after people that will just buy anything with some kind of resemblance to, to something good. And look at that zombie in the bottom left corner. That looks like that, Wishmaster. That's, that's, the, that's the main zombie. That's that's the one it all revolves around, the whole story. Okay. Which I don't remember <laughs> the stupid story. But. Nah. So we're we're kids todd is all zombie everything living dead and he sees this movie at best buy children living dead like okay starring tom savini starring tom savini there he did this for like a mcrib and a hundred bucks and yeah and we we took it home to his house and we watched it and the first scene was funny because it took place in a barn as a kid, it didn't really register, but now I'm like, it's the most budgeted movie ever. Of course, it yeah. takes place in a barn. Like, that's the most budget shit in the world. It takes place in a barn, and there's these zombies, and you got Tom Savini looking like Blade, if I remember correctly, yep. with, like, yep. a leather jacket, which is totally hack. We're eating it up, dude. We're eating dude, it up. Dude, but what a hack to do that, yeah, to take yeah, that kind of yeah. paycheck. Yeah, I'll, I'll be Blade in this movie. Anyway, and he's, like, just throwing machetes and kicking ass and stuff like that, and, and then he just dies. Mm-hmm. He just eats it. And then the rest of the movie after the first five minutes is that zombie in the left hand corner. Yeah, that's you're got following big... this guy around the whole fucking. Time. He's just like wandering around. He's got those big dick sucking lips. He's just wandering a lot around, dude. It just I don't remember anything that was going on. Just a bunch of like people talking, and it would cut to the zombie. They, yeah, they would cut. Yeah, they would cut to him for like two seconds, like, Ooh, and then they cut away. Doesn't I don't make any remember. Sense. I don't remember what the actual story was, but it's just the budget showed because clearly they blew their wad on that first scene. You know, first they had five a, minutes, yeah. Because they had a couple. Of, they got Tom Savini, and they had a few extras. This mm. one, they couldn't even pay for extras. This a, after that, it was literally one zombie. They got one guy to get makeup, and they just had all these like second unit shots of him that they spliced in at him. I I would be surprised if he had nothing to do with the movie, and they it wasn't like a um, what's it called, Zombie King situation where they just kind of like shoehorned in. Like uh, I'd rather watch Zombie King than this. Yeah, it, it's bad though. So 
you got rid of it, huh? Why'd you get rid of it? You should have kept it for memories. Ugh. There's only so many memories you need to keep. Yeah, I can't believe I can't find my Day of, Day of the Dead 2. Contagion, it's contagion. Yeah, I, you're I, supposed to send that to me, weren't you? I can't find it. I, 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 I don't know what happened to it. So before I moved out to Arizona, I gave a whole bunch. I gave almost, I traded in a lot of my DVDs, and then I gave some of them away to a friend. But I made it a point to saving, to keeping every DVD that didn't have a Blu-ray release at the time or whatever, or was horror or genre or whatever. I kept all those. Like at the time, um. Showdown Little Tokyo didn't have a Blu-ray release, so I kept my Showdown, my Snapper, my my uh -huh. case. Yeah, so I'm like, I I would have kept that. So part of me wonders if it's in another box somewhere. I just can't find it, but one of these days I'll find it. But uh, I actually I think have I know where it is. I think I know where it is. Where you lent it to Josh from high school. Oh, okay. And he lost it, and then he created his own cover for the movie, like he did my Day of the Dead, my original VHS cover. Remember that? Yeah. Well, if I was gonna time travel if i figured out how to time travel and take this movie back about like six years before it was even out to go to high school i wouldn't take that movie uh, <laughs> but yeah i remember that that was really really funny uh you could tell that kid just you could tell something happened like his kid brother or something ripped it up and he's like he was just trying he, to like he drew bub on the cover of some random bub i i find it hard to believe that he just did that he had to have been covering up like like you know I, I just I, I find it hard to believe I have an honorable mention if I could say it okay. and I call it an honorable mention because I eventually came around on it but at the time I bought this and it was more boutique and I, I spent money on it and because it just looks so cool and when I took it home and I watched it and I will say this this is my first real experience with Italian horror so mm -hmm. If you could imagine, if you're not used to watching Italian horror with their dubs and the way they do the sound or lack of sound and and or even giallos for that, if you're not used to that, it's a little like yeah, weird. It takes first. yeah, yep. And mm -hmm. I don't think I watched the best one to start with, and so it turned me off uh, instantly. But later on, if you watch, there's other Italian, there's a certain Italian horror movies I could suggest watching that get you into it better. Right. I don't think this was the gateway, but after I'd gotten into other stuff over the years, I went back to this movie and now I, I can appreciate it. But uh, do you have any idea what it is? Uh, is it an Argento movie? Oh, House for the Cemetery. I like that movie. Fulci. Okay. But can you imagine if this is the first movie of this kind that you ever watched? You've never watched. Yeah, that's not the one you want to watch. And it, it, dude, my. To my surprise, that little boy, right? Tommy yeah. or Bobby or whatever the hell his name is. Yeah. That overdub with that woman. <laughs> what is it, mommy? What? It's so like, what am I watching? I didn't have the capabilities of sort of tuning that out yet. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, I know they're all like that. Yeah. yeah. And to You're be honest with it. you, the overdubs get way worse than this movie. <laughs> but yeah, I could, I could tune it out now. Um, but now I could, I can appreciate it. I still don't really know what the fuck's going on in this movie. I mm -hmm. challenge anybody to really get a pull a real story out of this movie because it's kind of all over the place and it doesn't really go anywhere but the end of the movie's fantastic it's got the creepiest villain with that doctor that zombified mm -hmm. mummified doctor in that cellar he's so creepy i mean it doesn't even matter that i don't know what the hell's going on in the movie it's just really creepy and it's funny because this is actually a movie um before when i bought this i thought it was the first time i was watching it but after i watched it I realized, oh, I actually technically have seen this when I was really young because I remember that cellar scene. So I must have yeah. watched it late night, some monster movie of the week, something. I didn't remember the movie, but I'm like, you know, it, it comes back to you. Like, I've seen this. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so, but I've come around on it. I do kind of like it now. Um, it's good. I, I have the 4K. Do you? Is it? Is it? I would actually buy the 4K because I haven't, haven't watched it. I got it used, so. It's yeah. got a great atmosphere. Like I said, the only thing yeah. I can knock on is it doesn't make any sense. Like the movie no. itself, like what what is going on? A in lot of the movie? Italian movies don't. This so. was, supposed to, but um, but yeah, no that that was my honorable mention, and it's an honorable mention because I did come around. But I initially I was like, what the fuck did I spend my money on? I kind of I kind of have one of those too. So I have a couple honorable mentions. This one I I like this movie. I enjoy it because I love the main actor in it. 
and it's an enjoyable movie for me. Um, but the transfer is terrible. It is um, the last horror film starring Joe Spinell. Okay. So this movie, <laughs> yeah. So this is a low budget movie. They shot it in like cans, like on the outside um, when they were doing it. And Troma put out this release, and this release is so bad where it flickers throughout the whole movie where it's so distracting because I enjoy this movie. I've seen it a couple times and I, I like it, but this transfer is terrible. So stay away from the transfer. Don't even get it. If uh, you see it for cheap. That's cool. But you like the movie though. I do. I do like the movie. For it. Yeah. Well, um, that's a couple more. Oh, you do. Okay. Well, yeah. I actually have one more. It's not really an honorable mention. I pulled this out, but, but Same technically it, these are ones I pulled out. But technically, I guess it counts because I had never seen it. I blind bought it on DVD first, but I didn't expect it to be good. And, and this could have been any one of them, but I just pulled out Deader, dude. <laughs> Hellraiser. Yeah. Because these, uh, I didn't pay, I didn't, I spared Inferno, which I do have because I think Inferno is the best of those VOD, like yeah. fake movies they just shoehorn Pinhead in. But fucking bad, man. Terrible. Kind of like this one. I got this for a dollar and I, I, you know what? I think it was a dollar wasted. Okay. Cruel world. Oh, during it for long. When I've seen that, so bad, dude. Where he's got his like uh his his big brother reality. Big show. brother, yeah, reality show is terrible, dude. It's so bad. <laughs> and dude, Jamie Presley, because I was like, oh, Jamie Presley's in it. Okay. Where'd you get oh. at the Dollar Tree, dude? No, one of these local used shops. I was like, oh man, Edward Furlong's in something. I this think it's worth bad, a dollar because it's bad. Oh. It's it's so bad. No, I know it's so freaking bad. And Eddie Furlong is is terrible. I mean, he's a treasure normally, but he's terrible in that dude. Yeah, uh, that's so funny, man. Yeah, so that one's good. I'm pretty sure we could probably easily pull a volume two out of this if we just have some time to marinate and think about it. Yeah, we'll have to like just. It's going to be one of these things where over time we're going to be like, oh, yeah, that one. I should have put that one in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So as I see these types of things, I always make like a list on my phone. And I have like a little fo a folder on my phone, a note, where it's dedicated to these stream topics. So I'm always curating and, and putting stuff in as I see them or remember them. But that was a pretty good list. I'm pretty proud of those lists. I think we did pretty good. Yeah, not bad. I, 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 I'm, mine was pretty varied. Had a couple of comedies in there. Had a Hooper. Oh, I mostly horror half of them were horror um but yeah i did horror too because horror is just so hit or miss i was trying to think of like action but i i i, I couldn't because the thing is is a lot of times when there's a bad action movie i kind of know it's gonna be a bad action movie and i could have did yeah. like terminator salvation and terminator 3 there's but still the thing, redeeming qualities and stuff but the so. thing is is like terminator salvation i own it but i i i rented it and knew it sucked before i bought it for like two bucks and I'm yeah, like, why yeah. not? I'll just buy it. So, like, there's certain things that disqualified certain stuff. But um, I really want to do some. I we got to talk about underrated. We have to have an episode where we just talk about movies we want to spotlight. I, yep. I, I, maybe we could do that next week because I have so many like sweet. I love B movie, B action movies, man. I yeah, love yeah. the whole B action movie world. It's great, fantastic. Um, so maybe we can do that, but anyway, we're going to wrap up. Thank you everybody for joining in on the stream. I want to remind everybody again, please to like the video. If you dug it, uh, follow us. If you don't already follow us on twitch.tv slash revival house, leave a comment, interact. And if you want to watch these live every Tuesday, uh, 8 PM central time, otherwise YouTube the following week, and they're going to be broken up probably like you're experiencing right now, but that's all we got. Uh, give us some feedback. If you guys want so if you guys have any opinions, on what we should do for our next episode. I have some pretty good ideas, but if you guys have different ideas, we have a free discord, man, jump in our discord, join the cronies over there and we respond to everybody. And you can, you can always give us feedback and, and suggestions in there, but that's all we got. I got, I got one thing left to say. Oh, if you haven't seen children of the living dead, watch it. We want your feedback on that. How, why have we not done a commentary of this? We got to do a commentary. I, yeah, we do. Absolutely. We do. Why don't we do that? That could be our next uh, classic uh, BTM commentary. We get Zach and you You got to come on and do it. Yeah, I'll do All it. All right. So now that's on record too. All right, guys. We'll catch you guys next week. Adios. Adios.